And also tonight, what kind of sports are there for the visually impaired? Sports reporter Shelly Bain found a sport that mixes dodgeball and soccer goalkeeping, and it's played only by the blind. This is goalball, a game where the visually impaired can have a sport all to their own. The game was invented during World War II for veterans who lost their sight during combat. But now it is a sport that is played by the visually impaired worldwide. Uh, it's actually very empowering because when I was growing up, um, you know, I went to regular school all the way until I was, like I said, at the age of 14. So I never knew that there was sports out there that are adapted for the blind and visually impaired. In the game of goalball, everyone wears goggles with duct tape covering the lens so that everyone is equally blind. Also, the ball that they use has bells in it so that the players can hear when it is coming their way. With these adjustments, it makes the game their own. It kind of makes everything feel more, more equal, you know, like we're on the same level as sighted people in terms of sports. The goal of the game is to get the ball past all three players of the opposing team and over the back line on a route mapped out by string and duct tape. Goal ball is a game of sound and touch. And for the visually impaired, those senses are their strengths. I'm a very competitive person naturally, so when I found out about goal ball and other adaptive sports, I was really excited and pleased and um, have been enjoying it ever since. Proving you don't have to actually see a goal to achieve it. In Phoenix, Shelley Bain, Cronkite Sports.